Prepare yourself for a sprawling discussion on just about anything, where critical thinking meets pop culture in a collision of mind-bending proportions. Please secure all neurons and prepare for full frontal cortex. It's time for Incoherent Ramblings. Transformers! More than meets the eye! Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of Incoherent Ramblings. I'm your host, Joey Shamble. I'm Stan Bush. <laughs> you I'm got to touch. I'm <laughs> Kale Anderson. <laughs> and Daryl George. With guests as last week. RJ. RJ that's Rim job? RJ. Rim job. Rim job. <laughs> Dude, I remember Rim him. Job. He was like, Will hey, Jack, he's brother. a man. He's a transformer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this week's episode 52 is going to be all about Transformers. Yeah. <laughs> More than meets the eyes. Our sponsor. <laughs> Our sponsor today is... Cliff Jumper, one of the Transformers, but also in the original cartoon, Cliff Jumper was voiced by Casey Kasem, who recently passed away. Sunday. We thought it was a fitting tribute to him to make our sponsor Cliff Jumper, even though it was going to be Optimus and we took it away from him. <laughs> you know, now that we're yes. um, visual, <laughs> screw Optimus. I think it, it does <laughs> become one of those things where Ooh. before recording, we're like, what, sh- what shirt should I wear? And Paul, awesome job. Thank you. But you know, this wasn't by accident either. I, I put the, I mean, it was by accident because I put the shirt on, but then when I was like, Getting ready to come here, I'm like, dude, I don't have a Transformer shirt, but I do have a Cliff Jumper paint job. Well, and this is my episode. And I didn't even think about it. So I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't have my Transformer shirt. I need a new one actually. And I'm dressing as Santa Claus. This week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bring me an Optimus. <laughs> Where's your sack? Anyway, it's too visual. No, 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 no
couldn't continue on Mars, but caught a ride on an asteroid. And a lot of people are poo-pooing this, but it's actually starting to get a little Poo. momentum so because that's known as, So, yeah. Poo. That's known as panspermia. Yeah. means that Mars, like, totally <laughs> inseminated our whole planet. So it's like, Mars f- us we all. could all be <laughs> hey, We could all be Martians. What the frick? We're all Martians. <laughs> <laughs> totally for the frick. I don't want to be a Martian. I'm not an Earthen link. Martian, Martian, Martian. Yeah. You did work at Earthlink, though. Why did I not get a bit? We just got it. I forgot to hook up the cable. <laughs> of the week! Wee, 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 and now it's time for part two of our preamble right. countdown. By the way, that's very good. By the way, we're Thank probably you. not going to have joke of the week after Eddie's last horrid uh, joke. Yeah, the, why do you mention uh, it? It's going to be edited out. Yeah, we probably. <laughs> yeah, but there's yeah. still going to be some mention of it because I can't edit everything out. Yeah. The, the joke's gone. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm glad yeah. I agree on good. that. Right. All right, go ahead, Paul. What's the word of the week? Uh, today's word of the week is He Man. Well, that's easy. He's a master of the universe. Hmm. He all, has the sword. I should say to he, He-Man. No, no, no. He's like Seinfeld. He's the master of his domain. This is to he's, He-Man. Okay. He-Man means he's a... Wait, wait to He-Man? To He-Man. To He-Man. To oh, He-Man. to He-Man. Oh, oh it's a verse. I'll, put, I'll put in that, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Well, I was, I was going to say because he's gay until he has a sword in his hand. That's mm. Prince Adam. Oh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it's, when, it's when to hide your identity you actually strip... In order to come That's out, good. I would say to He Man is to take a transvestite and do what? You're thinking of this way too hard. <laughs> yeah, you're right. All right, go ahead. All right, well, as a verb, yeah, He Man is to ejaculate, whether on purpose or by accident, into the pubic hair of somebody or your own, causing it to thicken and mat like oh. the loincloth found on He Man figures. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 You gotta be like a Russian guy with like hair all over his head. <laughs> Seared into my. I know, oh, it's like geez. there for me yeah. too. That's bad. Yeah, That's you bad. gotta think of me then. Oh, oh, I'll never be able to look so at it. Sir, you have outdone yourself with the He Man. I. Oh. You need Even to have that a, sounded bad. You need to have a bukkake <laughs> to get that much. No. <laughs> yeah, by the way, speaking of panspermia. And okay, speaking okay, of bukkake. It smells like science. Uh, and sure you know it's why sperm. it smells like science? Because a computer, three, for the first time, has passed the Turing test. Oh, I heard about sperm. that. Oh, that's, but that's I, okay, go ahead, Paul. This messed up. Kale. <laughs> I just, <laughs> <you did. laughs> go ahead, Kale, then we'll discuss. Okay. The thing is, is that uh, it's, it's sort of true. He, they mm, bet, he passed. The, the computer fooled 30% of the audience, which is the barest requirement for it to be considered passing so it 30% really, of the judges right yeah. and that that's not even 50% which kind of makes me think that it really shouldn't be counted but it is a significant milestone in the fact yeah. that it actually has mm-hmm. been done and uh, the name of the character uh, by the way the people that they fooled were British so I don't know sure how much that counts but uh, you know British more gullible yeah. what, what are you talking about <laughs> I don't know <laughs> was it this didn't they think it was a 13 year old kid yes yes a 13 who wasn't native who? English speaking yeah. okay. two right. things his, that I think kind of invalidate this test yeah you know? and his name was e. G. Eugene Guzman right which right away should have Just made him that. think that I agree yeah, right. I agree it's a good milestone Right. It's a good step in the right direction, but I agree it's not passing the Turing yeah. test. Yeah. And this too. thing about 30% was something that Turing wrote in a letter. It wasn't even like an official Right, 1950, about, right? Yeah. Well, the big news is that it it duped a lot of people, and it spread like wildfire that yeah. it passed. Right. And right. that it even got to the two people that... that uh, did the bet or whatever that it would happen? Oh, and they oh, paid yeah, off yeah. the bet? There was a bet no, between kinda, Hawking and... Like twenty uh, thousand dollars to be yeah to be donated yeah. to the uh, if I'm a donation. You yeah. son of a bitch. Because Hawking thought it would be later, huh? I told you. Hawking thought it would be later. Twenty twenty nine sooner. I would uh, probably yeah. 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 I, think I think it's twenty twenty nine. That very was interesting. Or I'm thinking of some black hole bet. All right, Ew. and now it's time. What? It's time for it. <laughs> Tech talk. You know we're gonna cut that, and all we're gonna hear is, "Yeah, the black hole bet." <laughs> oh yeah. Tech talk. Let me check oh yeah. Tech. For that. Hey, talk. Cooley. So. So this one's a little bit... Who bought who um, this week? Wait, who... Oh. <laughs> Sprint's flying T-Mobile, but that's not my story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do they really? Yeah. They're, they're in, in the works of doing oh. it right now, yeah. What? Number four in the count... Oh, never mind. Um, so anyway, 
Uh, my story this time isn't as exciting, I guess. It's, um, oh, I was talked down. See, I, I told you would have stole mine well, 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 if you would have thought about it. Plug something. Yeah, but it didn't matter. <laughs> 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 we're, we're all good still, thank goodness. All right. All right. We're still here? We're still, still here. He unplugged this. All right, I'll try. That's all right. Oh. Doesn't matter because it's plugged back. Daryl, go. Hey, <laughs> my topic. Come on, hard fast with Daryl. Okay, so I wanted to talk about this. fast. The Microsoft Surface Three. It was announced a while oh, back. Oh yes. And um, it's looking pretty good because it's it's a tablet that they're now um, posturing it to be more like a laptop. And they're yeah. saying like even though the keyboard does come off and it's more of a tablet, they're like this is a laptop. And it's a high-end laptop, and instead of trying to make it like inexpensive, they're up against like the iMac and or the MacBook Pro and stuff like that. Not the iMac. Um, so the thing is, they're they're making it kind of a premium device. It has really good specs. But one of the things that got me excited about it is that I'm I'm a avid OneNote user, and I actually keep notes <laughs> for the show. I thought it's the same thing. <laughs> what a one, one note, note user? <laughs> one note. It's like you no. you clutch right. on, on one side. One note 2013 is now free. So whether or not you're getting a Surface 3, you can do that. But the Surface 3 comes with a nice stylus, and I've heard that it's about the best. Like it's almost built for one note. Like you, you can a basically nice pressure draw on the screen, user. erase, and like just handwrite notes and everything in OneNote. It looks pretty awesome. So <laughs> nice. I'm hoping. How I'll much get is one. it going for? Um, I mean, what are they starts at the... like about nine hundred plus, plus oh, another yeah. one four thirty nine for the keyboard. Yeah. So yeah, and it, it can go up beyond two thousand if yeah. you spoke okay. it. Okay. Okay, Transformers. So yeah. let's. Dun, 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 dun. Transformers has been a huge part of my life. And Paul's life, mm -hmm. and Daryl and and Kale have also had Beast uh, Wars. Yes, yeah, so he's very much into Beast, Beast Wars. Wars. Well, it and rolled me. I'm into Beast Wars. I'm into Beast Wars. I also was a Robotech fan, so I yeah. split a little. Yeah. And for me, it was actually when I was a teenager. It kind of more after the movie kind of defined mm -hmm. my life in a lot of ways, and I became a huge collector up till this day. And Paul, well, I do like the movies too. Yeah. Oh, uh, and then and then that it's uh, the main reason I want to bring this up is because even though it's a love of mine and we've all had experience with it, I think the the thing that I find incredible is how it's still strong today. You know, it was something so new in the eighties and it's like still bull. it's strong like bull today. Well, you know what's funny is like in terms of that, it is kind of cool that a lot of these childhood things that we were into yeah. become so big. And, like I think. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. What, that time in eighth grade, right, Paul? Yeah. Okay, well, bring it, that up it's, again. It's true because the people making the movies and the the, the products and stuff right. now is yeah. our generation. Well, like a few nights ago, I was at uh, the Crest in Temple City, a dive bar, right? And you know, World Series of Poker is on the TV, and they've got like some, they've got like Days of Future Past X Men trailer like running on the TV during a commercial break, and I'm just thinking to myself like. When I was in high school, did I ever imagine that there would be like big budget yeah. freaking movies about all yeah. our favorite superheroes? And then, you know, B of course, the quality. treatment that yeah. Transformers is getting, even though it's not being treated that well. <laughs> I know, that's what I put on one thanks, Michael Bay. <laughs> but uh, and another part about it, and from what you said, I asked my dad that once, because when I started seeing, when I started getting older, I started seeing G.I. Joe, Transformers, and all those things coming out. I was like, Dad, does that happen? Did that happen to you? Like, some of the toys and stuff you saw as kids, they came back later. He's like, yeah. That yeah. even happened with, like, the older toys, like... Uh, Mr. Flash Potato Gordon. Head or yeah, well, G.I. Joe right. was a toy that came back. Yeah, exactly. That's a perfect example. Big figure in the mm -hmm. '60s. Big. It's actually big. it's yeah, actually big. The, the, the 50th anniversary is coming up of the original GI Joe. Oh, cool. So that, they're mm -hmm. actually doing a couple of things on Big Bad Toy Store nice. to commemorate, but with the little guys. So that's cool. Thank you, Porter. Uh, so Transformers, we're going to talk about the history of it today also from the beginning because it's always kind of been there. There was a kind of a, a dead period around 92, 93. Yeah, the dark times. Yeah, but G I, the Generation 2. Was, yeah, was, but, was, but that started it back up though. You have to yeah, admit that, that brought in a new generation. And we're going to talk about that as well. Um, and how it's affected all of us. So, but isn't Generation Two like technically like the ones from '86 or something like that? Because like '84, no, '92, '92 on. 92? But they okay. took the to with toys and just repainted. Yeah, repainted them. So. them. Uh, and but the, there was the, a whole new, the new toy the, background. The fifth season is considered like Generation Two because okay. it. Well, we'll get into that. With yeah. Condition. So we'll talk about that, including up to the day. And Transformers Four is coming out in two weeks, I think. Yeah. So uh, hopefully I'll, I haven't seen a movie in a year. <laughs> Get the bullet. And why is that? <laughs> <They're wacky. laughs> uh, but uh, he'll be playing the Transformers too. If I have anything to say about it, you got to see her sometime. Yeah, it's, even oh, though I it's out of theaters now. Who? You got it. It's her. on demand. Everyone now. has to Who's see she? her. Her. I, I have it downloaded. Did you see it, Kale? Yeah. No, we're awesome. gonna watch it on demand. Joe and I saw it. It was like our you know gay theater experience or something. But anyway. 
Okay, so anyway. <laughs> Who was holding the popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> Who had the hole in the popcorn? I don't know, but I was sitting on some milk duds. Ooh. Uh, and so, uh, yeah. That was weird. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> Let's oh, forget, let's forget I said anything so, about that. Uh, the history of Transformers started in 1980, 80? 1982 yeah, right. in Japan. Yeah, that's, that's, that's where good. it started Sahara, as the right? Dyna- Diaclones. I think it was Diaclones yeah, and right. the Micron Bots. And dude, seriously, I put Diaclones in like my pull filter and like a. <laughs> well, no, so and that, it, it started with that, with Japan, and, and that was brilliant. I mean, the idea of transforming robots was too broad. Yeah, they came out with the Joe. ones. <laughs> and moving on. Well, we're moving on to toys. So, this right. is no, toy. so it started off with the Diaclones, and it was like they, they were the ones with the smaller, the smaller one sixtieth fi- size figures for the for the people with the giant robots. And then the Carbots came out in the same series, and those are ones that would transform into robots. Hasbro saw this is Takara was making all this in Japan. Hasbro saw that in Japan and bought the rights to those transforming right. ones, the Carbots, and turned them into Transformers. Here, so the original J- Japanese ones was like Soundwave, Blaster, Optimus, right, right, right. Megatron, etc. Cetera, et cetera. And they started taking more than just Takara. Like they started getting Bandai toys and some other ones out there. Like you started noticing like a yeah. hodgepodge. Like even the um, Valkyrie fighter from Robotech became Jet Fighter, yeah. Jetfire. Yeah. Well, it did well, kind of piss of a lot of us off that like some of the cars were this big and yeah. then the other cars were this big. It's there like the scales one. off. Yes, right. Joe. Um. When did the movie come out? The cartoon or the live action? Original. We'll get to that when we get to the cartoon. Oh, sorry, it it yeah. was in 86. Yeah. Yes. Um, so the toys, Hasbro was brilliant for buying the rights to it because they saw something. That, this had never been done before because as a toy, you now have an action figure that's a robot that changes into a vehicle. I mean, even as an adult, and I still collect Transformers, and I collect G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe is cool, but you get the action figure, like, ooh, action figure, put him in a vehicle. Mm-hmm. But you, Transformers, you can play all, transform this way, transform this way. So, I mean, it was really brilliant. A great way to bring in a new well, type of toy. I love them as, as toys because oh, yeah. they were kind of like a Rubik's Cube and a figure. You know? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, figuring it out is part of the fun. You know? That's what I was. That's what my question was. Did you guys enjoy them back in the day when it was really hard to figure out how to transform this toy when compared to them now, it's like... I Done. think they're harder. Well, no, they're, no, harder no, no. Right it now. they're harder now. It yeah. depends. It's a movie we'll talk about it, but there are different levels of that. Master's degree. The ones right now for it. the new movie yeah. kind of suck because they want to make. They've got some that are like easy transformer, and I think they're going for. I don't know what. Oh it is. yeah, I got Logan. We got Logan one. He mm-hmm. got Grimlock, and it's great because you just open the. Open the tail and you spin it. I and saw that. Transforms. And he transforms. Like, think about yes. Think about GoBot transformations. It's like okay, I just bent over. <laughs> Tank or yeah. yeah, right. Tank yeah. Okay, but here's the thing. When I first GoBots came out first before Transformers, and I remember when I saw the Transformer commercials as a kid, I was like, oh, rip off of GoBots. Yeah, I'm never right. gonna buy Transformer. A clearly inferior product. Yeah. <laughs> They they're, don't have dive They're so dive. big. <laughs> yeah, dive. But no, it was great. I mean, they, and then they the Transformers, uh, you know, they went, they they did, they didn't have, like, figures that went in the vehicles. So, well, first right. they did the combiners, which yeah. was cool, you know, off of, all this came from Japan, and we you know, modified it to make it ours. But the combiners oh, were, were the ones that had the different <laughs> vehicles, and they all, tr- or robots, and they all yeah. turned to one vehicle. So, Superior. Right, the they could start to cons with the first one, then they had the special yeah. teams units and everything. Yeah. I kept hearing yeah. the complainer. The <laughs> complainers. The constructed cons were part <laughs> no, no, of the original. They, what was it? What the was recla- the reclaimers. The proclaimers. And the I would transform a hundred miles. The constructed cons were an original car bot. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, so, but later on, with I loved about the combiners, they just made them easy. It was just one big one, and it was like arm, yeah. arm, leg, leg. Right, and yeah. That was Did the you, template for the Do you rest. know how Spot annoying ass. it would be to be an Autobot? Because, like, every time you come out of the shower, then there's some bird shitting on you. You're like, dude, I just washed this. Come on, man. Because they're a car. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Uh, then they came out with the Headmasters and Target Masters and Power Masters, which were cool because then you had a little figure that was like the humans, and it turned into... But they still were part of the figure. They became the head. They became the gun. Yeah, what are the names of all the series? Headmasters. Headmasters. Okay. Target Masters. Okay. And Power Masters. Where they and we're the not still talking about Teledildonics? <laughs> no. <laughs> Action okay. Masters. Well, Smash. and then... I was thinking the that. Dying, the <laughs> di- with their dying breath of Transformers, Hasbro, in its infinite wisdom, decided, let's make Transformers that don't transform. <laughs> let's make them action That's, figures. Um, yeah. Those were the actual... That's a, that makes about as much sense as making He-Man figures that do transform. And that was when Generation 1 died. Now, Transformers the cartoon, I put here in the notes, the original cartoon was not great, but when you grew up with it, it was pretty awesome. 
Then the movie, which was pretty cool, and then the cartoons. Well, the cartoon, the comics the time, had the good story. I know we're getting to the comics. Okay, comics okay, is okay, next. Yeah, is the next that one. was that Later. was the problem. Is because when I encountered Transformers, yeah. I was already an adult, and, and you're and, like, what the? Yeah, Man. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And well, I was thinking that it wasn't well, until the Beast Wars that I actually went, wow. For me, it's cool. definitely not like a character study. For know, me, as a it, kid, it's a little weak. It was just one of the many things. G.I. Joe, Transformers, Star Wars, they were all in the same thing. I wasn't more of a Transformers fan until I saw the movie, which I didn't see in the theater. The movie was awesome. The movie was because, good because it was a big step up. It was like, incredible. The quality, suddenly, quality animation. And it suddenly yeah. got a lot more serious. Because, yeah. you know, you had some oh. casualties and stuff. Yeah, like, they oh, died. Now they I said care shit about in stuff. it. Yeah, yeah, I know. And it was, and I didn't even see it in the theaters, but uh -huh. it affected me so much that that movie made me a huge Transformers fan. You and even though I was a the teenager, theater? I did no, not see it. Because I wasn't a Transformers fan. I just okay. kind of liked it. Yeah. And That's then, harsh, man. And then when I first saw it, I, it just it blew yeah. me away. And so what I ended up doing was I started buying more Transformers and I had these huge epic sagas. Because you know as a kid, in elementary school, you'd buy the toys, play with them little, and you'd play. And then, yeah. no. But as an adult, I had the comics. I was watching them. Or not an adult. As a teenager, had the comics. I, I had these epic sagas going on in my room where, like, the Autobot yeah. things. And it all continued. I'd take their heads off and be like, oh, the Decepticons have destroyed or keeping the heads, like, in the comic. And then I have G.I. Joe come in. And sometimes there are two sagas of meat. And I still played with toys as a teenager, but it was epic to me. I, I think one it. of the things yeah. that's cool about a it's franchise like that yeah. is how it can cross over into other things because I was always incorporating other toys into there because you start working on the imagination of what would Cybertron be like. Right. Yes. Yeah. And all of a sudden it's like, oh, this like, you know, figure from G.I. Joe is covered from head to toe and they look kind of robotic. So now they're like one of the like troopers that's running down the street. Mm -hmm. Then I've got like Captain Power things because they're, you know, like anything mechanical kind of fits. So you can kind of bring all your toys into one hodgepodge and go, like, I'm playing Transformers, you know? Well, for for us, I mean, it's just the cartoon. I mean, at, like I said, at the time, the quality of stuff that was out, it was on, it was par. It was on par with the, everything else. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. Yeah, all that stuff. And so the toys just let our imagination grow off that the storylines from the cartoons. And Paul and I would get together we and would go outside. Have all kinds and have of stuff. But like you work. said, I remember I still have a little um, space shuttle thing that I got in a cereal box <laughs> right that was a little stupid transforming robot thing i yeah. put a little a decepticon sticker on it it yeah. now was like my astro train yes i didn't have astro train so it's like that <laughs> it's was my that. astro train this is now astro train like, yeah here's my simba and here's my astro yeah. train <laughs> but now the movie the thing about the movie which was a cartoon was that it had a lot of big voices in it i mean galvatron yeah. was voiced by leonard dean boy right. uh it was one of the last roles that for unicron that uh, orson, 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 orson wells, wells did yeah. which was awesome voice I have you uh, yeah. I can't yes. do it right Kevin now. And, and Jazz, yes. He only did like and of course, one Cliff Jumper had a case case. I have something yeah. here for the purpose. <laughs> <laughs> no. That wasn't right. I have something you have you know, for the purpose. Well, it's it's <laughs> crazy funny to me. Is that you guys are doing all this and the contrast. I'm over in Korea. <laughs> and yeah, I, I'm shooting down flying drones with stinger <laughs> missiles. You know, practicing and machine like, guns. As long as they're like, in the G.I. Joe mode, Transformers! Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, yeah. And going to, to brothels. Let's not forget that. Yeah, let's yeah. not forget that. So, yeah. And that's then the probably, cartoons after... I'm f***ing women. You're playing with dolls. The cool thing also... <laughs> the, the cool thing also that the movie oh, did was... Sorry, Derek. I didn't mean to say f***. <laughs> <laughs> the cool thing that... The cool thing that cartoon did also with <laughs> the movie did was they put it in the future, so it was 2005. Oh, uh, yes. That got kind of loud. <laughs> It's not louder than usual. <laughs> and, the con and it was great because you ordered it uh, special uh -huh. uh, mail away and you got it and that was like the best movie ever. Did I? Wait. You did, yeah. You mailed it away. G.I. Joe you had, had a send away points? for like $1.99. <laughs> Didn't you do that? And like had to send some like points think, away. Yeah, yeah. Stuff? What were the points for Transformers? It was a little, uh, uh, well, the, the they had a name points. Bit, I don't remember that. Yeah. I don't know. But I like don't flag that. points I remember you getting the that. They came in the mail and were like, oh. Do right. you want to say more about the cartoon? That was one of those things. They made you no. wait forever for that crap. Like, hooded Cobra Command. Well, no, I'm going to extend. I want to like, extend. Oh, okay. 25 weeks extend. before delivery. What the hell are they thinking? Well, yeah. Like, extend oh, on the whatever. cartoon. All right, extend. But that cartoon really changed what we. What it really we were doing did. Back then. Yeah. And I, I, I remember watching it and just like, I remember being over and thinking, well, I want more. Yeah, the <laughs> movie, the thing about the movie was, it, it you know how as a teenager, uh, you're looking for identity, and and you find things to help identify you. And that movie really did. It's you know it made me look at sacrifice and courage and heroics. Maybe look at growing and becoming a, a better person. You know, hot rod, Rodimus and everything. I didn't play all those years of D and D without learning a thing or two about courage. 
Anyway. <laughs> Roll for it. <laughs> So I did. And the music. The, the music, music, of course. really changed how I did we like the music. around London. You know, that, so is, that is one thing that stands out to me because my uh, I had a really close friend at the time, Julian, and he was like, he had all the Transformers. His collection was crazy. Um, but we got my brother to take Julian and I because he had just start. my brother had started driving at that point. So we saw the movie in the theater. I think my brother like fell asleep in the middle of it or whatever. And when I asked him afterwards, I'm like, that movie was so cool. It was so much better than the other Transformers stuff. He was like, yeah, it was okay. The music was pretty good. But, yeah, <laughs> I think I said that too. At the end of the movie, when I saw it on VHS video, right. I think I was like, oh, I had good music. Yeah. You got the touch. I mean, even today, the touch and Dare are two of my favorite songs. Yeah. Okay, let's move over to the comics. Dare, dare to be stupid. Oh, Dare to be yeah, stupid. Right. Yeah. was in it too, which was awesome. Yeah, uh, oh, wait, can I ask, was that a certain song to something else, like Devo or something? Yeah, Devo. It's a, it's a yeah, style it's kind parody. Of yeah, it's meant to sound like them. Style parody. Yeah. Um, so, Transformers the comic, better than the cartoon, and even got better before it was canceled. So, which right. I'm re- mm-hmm. Paul and I are both reading the the. the the uh, comic right now. Right. We and we collected them at the time, and so did Daryl. The Transformers comic. Oh, you collected them. I read them. Oh, that's right. right. <laughs> I have a. I still have my collection, actually. I do too, and I've, been, have I've like actually been reading. I just got up to something like that. I didn't even know they existed. <sighs> Your part's coming up. Don't worry, Kale. You're gonna be. All, it's all oh. you with Beast Wars. Oh, wait, real, real quick with the cartoon. Yeah. The cartoon was made to sell toys. As the comic True. was very yeah. similarly too, because they had to put in all the characters. But you can tell in retrospect that they had completely different writers from the cartoon. Oh, definitely. Well, the comic, the comic started out. I just read them, so it's looks like the first co- twenty. The first twenty are Whoosh. they're inner, they're inner, they're trying to get all the characters out yeah. there, the and they're trying to relate to the cartoon yeah. or the or the to sell the um, the toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then trying to squeeze them all. And then yeah. from like twenty to fifty or so, that's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's, it's better read good. though. It's a better read and it's pretty good. Then from fifty to 80 or 60 to 80 or so the story is just incredible i mean it's so good it's hmm. it's it's with uh what's the name simon Furman, who just did mm-hmm. an amazing job and, it, and even in the comic it leads up to 75 which was an incredible issue i just reread it with unicron and it was just mm-hmm. fantastic the storyline he's got like five different storylines he's got optimus is becoming uh, you know he's he's got all these different issues he's got to deal with it's like you're looking at a real leader and it's just, it's really well done. I am so impressed with it. Um, but then they got canceled at 80 because, you know, yeah. Transformer the, was the, the Transformer leader. that we really should be talking about is Swamp Ass. Oh, dude, oh, that's yeah. an awesome Swamp Transformer. Yes, yeah, yeah. Swamp Ass. Because there's a big yeah, Swamp yeah, Ass here. Yeah, it is we, and I'm we have pants. become so into Darryl. the summer again. Form of Swamp Ass! Yeah. <laughs> you know, he transforms from it a has swamp to be into an ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, as Transformers continued along, uh, uh, there were some comics. They were canceled at number 80, which was about the time Hasbro was done with Transformers. Number 80 in a four-issue limited series. Yes, which was cool. But at, then what happened was Generation 2 came out, and they were actually introduced through G.I. Joe, which was still going. And then Generation mm-hmm. 2 had a, a run of, like, 12 comics that kind of continued off of the last one, but not That's really. Megatron could not be a gun anymore. Right, he had to be a tank. Because of uh, the yeah. strict gun yeah, toy right. rules and stuff. And there were hints oh. along the way, just speaking of the Marvel comic, there were hints along the way that it was part of the Marvel Universe. Okay, I have an issue, answer. Issue 3 has Spider-Man. I yeah. have an answer for that because yeah. I've been reading the letter sections in all the Transformers, yeah. and they finally said it, and they're like, this is not part of the Marvel Universe, Please forget about issue three. <laughs> that was actually oh. <laughs> it's more than just that though, because the the woman Circuit Breaker, yeah, I know. Circuit Breaker, she winds up in Secret Wars. By, and the thing is, by so. the, what happened was, by the time they got to where they were doing good writing, they realized yeah. we cannot have this part of the Marvel Universe. Right, it doesn't right. make any sense. Yeah. So this at that like, point, where are like, the Avengers? Exactly, and that's yeah, att- attacking well, the oil yeah. platform. So uh, there <laughs> were some other comics after that, but then IDW Comics took it over uh, with uh, I think around Beast Wars time or so in the two thousands. And uh, what they did yeah, recently, they got a whole bunch of people together uh, to get the original really good writers of Simon Furman and uh, Andy Wildman, the artist, mm-hmm. and they continued from 80, which was canceled, all the way to 100. Yeah, they finished their story. Finished all the stories because they had to, you know, cancel it so quickly. So yeah. that's what I'm reading right now. I just ordered some. So the comic art. I wish, like they I, pulled I, I wish those comics were the same price as the one. I know. Before. 75 cents Five a dollar. A comic. So it's kind of like they pulled a Serenity. They had to get it all done and right, yeah, right. one yeah. thing. Well, that was it. That was the whole thing. I just read 79, which was the one before, and they're like, you know, we've been heading that Optimus might be coming back, but we're not giving anything away by saying he'll be back next issue because we only got one left. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to Transformers Generation 2. So what, uh, what ended up happening, we were excited, Paul and I were excited, because yeah. it was the dark years of no Transformers. Yeah. And, and that was about the time 
we were graduating high school. We kind of stopped going to Toys R Us yeah. because it was the time G.I. Joe was going away. It started getting into like the Echo Warriors and stuff and all those oh. lame figures yeah. and stuff. Yeah, Power so Rangers. It's like the interest was meh. And so we weren't into toys quite as much. as. And Generation 2 started to come out and, and it brought a, a new level of people into Transformers because it was still Transformers. They used the same molds. But they made them all yeah. neon looking. Well, toys, the, uh, toys around that period had the most awful colors in them. They, they were they awesome, plastic, awesome neon, uh, or white, or pink. Man. But you know, you can the, tell that there was a lot of people that are into them because now the way that we're so happy about the, the the recreation of certain classic ones, they recreate Generation Two ones, and some people are like, "Oh yeah, Generation Two, because that's what they grew up on." Right. But for us, it's like, oh, that's uh, not as good as the real well, ones. Well, in the cartoon, it was, um, there's the four seasons of Transformers. The fifth one that came out is considered when Generation 2 started. Because that they... was with, it was the same cartoon. They took like 15 or whatever, but it was it was uh, presented in a way of like a history of what happened before. Oh, right. It was right. instead of doing the, the Autobot Decepticon flipping around, it was that cube and it would like show you like what happened here and then it's like, oh and then and We the only need this one happened. camera for this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> this one over here. <laughs> I, <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. It's 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 all right, no, it's, it's like all a Star right, Wars episode or something. But uh, <laughs> uh, Generation Two was really just a rehash. But it was good because it brought People back yeah. into the fold of Transformers. Did you read all the Generation Two comics when it came back? I did. Back? There's I only, twelve. I only, of them. I only got like four of them. They were pretty good, actually. They were they weren't great, but they were pretty. Good. They made it more realistic because they weren't based on the toy as much. So that was kind of. But and as a whole, Generation Two was kind of. I think Generation Two that era was also in the in the cartoon when it would show that guy, that little boy Tommy, that would talk to Action Master. Optimus, the big, big giant puppet guy. Remember that? <laughs> I do remember that. Isn't that big Pinocchio? giant head? Yeah, we might have. I don't know if you have like a, an appropriate topic coming up for this, but I want to just take a moment to talk about like uh, things like characters and motivations and stuff like that. Because I always felt like just growing up with like the stories of the Transformers that the Decepticons are just kind of like evil for evil's sake in a lot of ways. Like they go like, yeah, we want to like rape the Earth of energy and stuff like that. But like, okay, they could just like go straight to the sun and get their energy on or do it more directly than like attacking oil wells you know what I mean and that's what a lot you of mean the- apply some science to it and there's, oh, only, wow. there's only like six Decepticons <laughs> yeah, yeah the, early you on yeah. It, all it was was like six of them it was like around. that with G.I. Joe too because like I remember like you know first generation G.I. Joe comes out all these vehicles and stuff and then they show the Cobra side and it's like <laughs> yeah, I Cobra know. Commander Cobra Officer Cobra Trooper and a his tank yeah. it's like <laughs> good luck um, it. yeah, our terrorist like, organization you, know, you got like a strip this long of G.I. Joe stuff and then it's like here are the enemies yeah. you know of course there's supposed to be a lot of them but yeah, yeah. That's, that's, one, that's actually one thing that the uh, comic did a pretty good job of at the end it was starting to make it more realistic you know, and like in the cartoon, they had Scourge and Dirge. Uh, wait, is it Scourge and Scourge? Scourge, Scourge, um, and Cyclonus. Cyclonus, right? Both of them were like a clone army, kind of like. Mm-hmm. So just, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there was a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. Right, Django. <laughs> <laughs> the Django <laughs> of the Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, wait, that makes Starscream the Django of the <laughs> Star- <laughs> uh, Transformers universe. Shorts, That's kind of right? interesting. No, no, no. no so Starscream can transform into one of them. Oh. Skywarp and. <laughs> The Skywarp and, and Thundercracker. Uh, Thundercracker. Starscream okay. uh, didn't die until Galvatron killed him. Okay, moving on. Starscream? Beast Wars! Kill! <laughs> More Beast You may Wars. join the conversation. <laughs> Which had better writing than the old shows. What? Right? Oh, as far as I'm concerned, of course it did. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I, I, I still to this day have not seen them, but I really want I, to. I, I and tried, which is strange. I tried you love them. Transformers, Transformers yeah. and I keep raving about yeah, how know. good it is. I know. I just haven't gotten around to it. Totally it's hard honest, to get past the graphics. I can't get past the graphics. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Like, it's... I should have watched it when it days. came out. It's like yeah, it's like reboot. Now it's like we're fantastic. Yes, reboot when they came out. was probably a great show. I can't watch it because no. it's butt ugly. It's like we're watching Dude. the Amiga Five Hundred yeah, cartoon yeah. or something. Yeah, and that that does make a difference, I think, because when I did watch them to begin with, I watched them when they came out, yeah. and the graphics were like, "Oh my god, this is so cool!" Yeah, it was like because five or nobody 96. was doing that. No I mean, an that. entire show, right? You know, done with and it was CGI. loosely, it was you know, amazing. it was loosely connected to the original Transformers, but it was apparently like uh, 
at uh, a, it was like pre-transformers. It was pre-transformers. Yeah, the, yeah. the groups were were the, instead of the Autobots, it was the uh, Predacons, 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 and the Maximals. And Maximals. And the Maximals. I gotta tell you another thing that started killing it for me is it was like the same syndrome of like Marvel comics where like X Men like people die and they keep coming back as different things. Well, see, and it's like that with Transformers. Like they, it's like okay, now Megatron's a tank. Now Megatron like Optimus Prime's a gorilla and all this stuff is like whoa. Well, those why? are like the tent pole yeah, but, characters the thing is, that they if had you to watched put a name it, you understood it. Yeah. that the, there was a reason why they had to have their animal shapes to sell more toys. No. <laughs> was to sell no. And so they won you know, because, because of the atmosphere they, thing or no? It, it was really because got. of how much Energon was on there that they couldn't. It, it depleted their uh, ability to function, so they had to have the protective layer That's of cool. the animal forms. So that they could be protected well, from the energy. And that's why I want to watch it because you've told me something. It sounds like a really good storyline. And another thing that I really thought was fantastic was that every t they had a great way of adding more characters, which is these life tubes come in, they crash, and then they have to take on a form. And so they take on form like uh, the guy who took on the uh, the manta ray. I can't remember his name at the moment, but it was fantastic. Mantarion? No, mantis. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Anyway, and so it was really cool how that they transformed Man -man. into Thanks. different uh, animals, yeah. and it was like the animals that they first came in contact with most often, and uh, and then uh, because it was more for an Manta adult, <laughs> now Manta style. What are you thinking about? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, sting, sting, sting. okay. Well, wait. There was a. Uh, I didn't know how popular it was until I started reading up on it because I was like, "Oh, this isn't Transformers." At the time, exactly. We're purists. Yeah, we're yeah, purists. Right. Right. What the hell is it? But apparently, it was hugely well, you gotta think, popular. Even if right. like Megatron becoming a, a battle tank was already turning me off, it's like having them all be animals all of a sudden. I'm like, why aren't they just new characters or something? Why isn't it like a, a different universe or something? What's, why does it even have to be Transformers? And and yeah. what became and when it, it was good. You know, through it, they had the same kind of uh, silly stories, but it didn't bother me that they kept coming back. Yeah. And the reason is because, in my mind, I was already in thinking of computers and backups. It's yeah, like, right. you can always back somebody up and then load them into a new robot. Now, it didn't make it wasn't this a is problem one way, to me. This is one way I know how popular it was, because now they're doing the Generations, and they're doing some of them. There was a rat trap. Is that one of mm -hmm. the characters? Yeah. 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 yeah, they just brought out a new toy. That's the, the, the They redid it, and he transforms into a rat. It's really cool looking. Yeah. yeah. What's, what they got was, the rhino guy, too. He was like a yeah. New York accent rhino. guy, wasn't it? Rat trap. Yeah, 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 they did. They got that. It was pretty fun. Uh, but when I like, really yeah, yeah, yeah. thought it was fantastic with them. is when yeah. they went in and, and uh, like, Optimus. Because they went, yeah, they were they in the world where the, Optimus. Right, and that's how it really tied into it. Oh, I'm going to extend. Okay. All right, extend. Where they, he merged the, the AllSpark with, within himself, and then that transformed him and... So that he could actually be a different figure, because the the idea. Did he mention Allspark? The Did idea he? is Optimus. So. The idea is Optimus. So I don't think they did that. They maybe, cool. maybe not. The idea maybe. is the Optimus Prime it's, it's of the the ape is not Optimus Prime. He's a, a dis, or not what's opposite descendant. He's an ancestor of right. Optimus Prime. Yeah. Okay. And the same with Megatron. It, it, but they happen to be on Earth or during he's an ancestor of Orion Pax. Right, yeah, right. and and during right. the during right. the but they're on Earth during the time the Ark is laying immobile in the volcano, so right. that's why exactly. they were able to connect it. Which is and for some reason they didn't take the form of dinos because that was done already. Well, it was after the dinosaurs. Well, Starscream yeah. did right, yeah, or was it Starscream or no? It was Dinobot. 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 Oh, maybe they did that do something. The, I don't know. Yeah, you know, basically yeah. the. Anyway, the Decepticon that turned they started that went being to the able to transform into Autobots. the like the metallics. Yeah, that was how, mm. it, and they started there. becoming like their their animal forms became really super it's cool. cool. Right, right. Where like Rat Trap, all of a sudden he he was had like a uh, hot rod right behind him, so he could take off, and it's like <laughs> was was Hasbro was that Hasbro? I don't know. Yeah, who, who, yeah. Whoever yeah, the, it was Hasbro, they realized that some of the most popular Transformers were the animal ones, and they capitalized right. on it because they they tried to bring Generation Two back, and it just didn't work. And then mm -hmm. when they did the animals, that hit it off for the. They were I remember, like, I liked the Predacons before. I remember you were a huge yeah. fan of the Predacons. You can actually. Because it was one of the bigger ones. Do you, you still have uh -huh. it? No. Because because you can buy it right now. They're doing a reissue of on okay. Big Bad Toy Store. What's well, one one of the it. cool ones that I I thought Optimus. With, you know, he was the ape, and then he became the metallic ape with like a surf, uh, kind of snowboard thing. Was yeah, you know, it was a little it's silly. Silver Surfer, yeah. right? It was a little silly. <laughs> but what was really cool was uh, was uh, Megatron 
turning into the dragon. That was oh. fantastic. All right, let's V1 move. or V2? V1 or V2? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what? Dragon. You, you turn into a capsule. One of space the, oh, space SpaceX. 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 Anyway, whatever. Dragon capsule. <laughs> Yeah, it took me a that moment. Kind of a, Let's talk about yeah. the lamer side no, of Transform. Transformers. So I, I already did. Thank you. Beast Wars was very popular, and then they tried to kind of. I don't actually know the story behind this. It's been interesting to figure it out. Because all Armada, Energon, Universe, Cybertron, they're all oh, like they anime so like. Yeah. It, it was, it was I was just, so excited when that was going to come out. Because like, it was like back. the old one back. Yeah, yeah right? And then right. they introduced the kids, which I thought was okay. And then they had those uh, mini cons, which I thought was just. Dude, you know what? That was totally lost, like lost me. It was totally it was like, like Pokemon. Uh, or something. Yeah, Pokemon. Exactly. It's like you got to collect all the mini cons. Like, yeah. oh great, we've never seen. Yeah, this and there were all these like. Well, you know, it was the time when toys needed to have a a gimmick. A gimmick, and so they had like with Cybertron was the key that unlocked something, and with the Energon it was energy. Yeah. Yeah. There's a there's a whole um, movement in Transformer fandom that. Uh, Ignores that it never happened. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. hilarious. It, it didn't happen. But seriously, over a span of how many years did they have how many different shows? It was Monica like really Energon. tight together. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah those happened so almost much. one after another. Yeah, and and it was like they realized, well, this is stupid. So let's try something. You can else. buy the whole series on DVD for ten bucks. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but in in a way, like Generation We're Two, it kept Transformers Netflix. alive. Yeah. It's almost like there was Transformers Generation 1, and then there was Generation 2, which kept it just alive enough so they could do Beast Wars, which is right. hugely popular. And then when Beast Wars kind of died off, they had all these other ones that kept it just alive enough so the movies could start, which <laughs> have now become, again, hugely popular. Which was popular. the one that had more cartoony look to it? Um, like, they reinvented all the characters. I think it was... Oh, was that Robots in Disguise? No. Was that, oh, no, no, that's anime. That's Transformers, uh, Transformers anime. anime. Yeah. That was yeah. great. That was actually... That was really there's fun There's been two watch. cartoons since the movie started. Right. One was Transformers animated, which was pretty good. I haven't seen it, all of them, but it was fun. Like, it's not like a serious like because like yeah, all yeah. they don't shoot each other. They don't have weapons. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of a, it's for younger kids, but it yeah. does all these homages back to the original Transformers. Yeah, so the adult watching it, I mean, is, Weird Al does Retgar. Yeah. Oh really? I mean, it's, it's and, great. And they look they look kind of silly, but it's it's a fun it's a fun series. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> For audio yeah. listeners, <laughs> Joey just flipped the, cam the camera over off the base. Uh, you got you excited. your tripod, didn't you? I think it turned off too. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> well, it's getting right. close. Forty. So, uh, Forty. Yeah. Oh, shall we? We'll probably. We should probably. Um, I hope it was recording before that. <laughs> it's gonna fall off again, was. Joey. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Did we all scream? Pause. Well. Yeah, pause. <laughs> Well, in that case, you I'm going to fix this my camera. Over we're going to be like, ah! That camera's going to be pulling like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see how that looks. <laughs> it's like Kermit on the uh, Family Guy. Uh, <laughs> I'm really worried. Right. It was turned off. Like, was it not recording? That I, uh, I hope Well, not. we had one camera going, yeah. at least. So. Yeah. Do you want your it's, the, it's the right camera. Might as well plug it back in, too. That, the camera, <laughs> that should be recording right for this episode, I right. suppose. <laughs> All right, so uh, um, anyway. anyway. Let's get started again. Oh, my God. How did I get to, did to begin rolling Look, again? we're on the end. We're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> All right. And back. <laughs> there you go. All right, uh, so. Uh, yeah, Beast Wars was really good. <laughs> <laughs> so there was uh, Transformers <laughs> Animated, which was fun. I like that, yeah. And then the more recent one was, what was it called? Um, shit. Uh, yeah, it probably was. Right, right. Dude, shit. No, it was good too. Um, oh my god, Transformers. Shit. Crap, I gotta look it up. I don't know what it is either. Uh, oh my god, I watched the entire series and it was awesome. But it was good. It was. It was once again um, kind of a different take of the Boston Pottery Club. But oh no, it was on the hub. It was on the hub. Wow, Paul's it was trans up. I it would like to say you know that what, the Beast Wars video game you know what, was really awesome. You know what it was? The, the Transformers <laughs> Prime. Prime. Transformers Thank you, Prime. Oh, that's right. Okay. And it, that? it was kind of growing up with the kids. Like, it wasn't as, as kiddy as the Transformers animated, but it was a little bit harsher, a little bit stronger. It's a story. It's, it's almost like, to me, it was what we thought in our head with right. the original Transformers. Mm -hmm. what, this is what this... Had. It had a real story. I mean, each each episode. Had <laughs> oh, God. 
That was loud. Okay, yeah. so finally, something we had been waiting for since we started Transformers was a yeah. live action oh, movie. Oh my god! Tech- we, I remember talk about jizz in I your remember, pants. Yeah, I remember uh, on oh, the when Megan Fox on was. the inter- oh, yeah. <laughs> just in that, yeah, then it just. I remember on the internet, uh, right. probably in around 2005 or so, somebody made. A uh, computer-generated uh, transformer uh, little short that showed uh, like a car turning into a robot. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was. And, awesome. and it was just like, was oh my god, god, they can finally That's make the movie. That's right. how it should be. And then we heard they're making the movie. Oh, and we're and just like, oh my god. And then we heard it was Michael Bay. Bay. Michael Bay. Ah! Well, I didn't care at that time. I didn't Actually, really I know didn't Michael Bay. Either. I was like, eh. But the no, announcement. I, I remember watching the announcement when for the movie at work when I was working though. When they were announcing who's going to be in the movie, the different Transformers and stuff, and that yeah. was just awesome. Oh, I was like, so Jazz into it. in it. I love Jazz, and he ended up being kind of lame in the movie. Well, the thing was is that why the black guy have to die in the movie? That <laughs> seriously, <laughs> You're all right. the Transformers, hey, why the black the, guy? In the comics, um, in one of the episodes, Galvatron rips. It's amazing reading the comics. They took a lot out of the comics, bits and pieces oh, here and yeah. there, to put They're in the movies that I didn't know about. Galvatron rips Jazz in two in one in part of the comics. Where's Blue Street? He's there. <laughs> anyway, uh, so the <laughs> brown streak. The, the, ah! the movie, the, the movie, the first one was not fantastic, but it was great. So we were just oh, happy I, to I have Transformers. It. I thought it was a, a well, like I thought it was a fun movie. Yeah, it I, was, thought, I thought it was packaged so. together well. And they did a pretty good job with yeah, homages and, and everything. Optimus Prime and like surround sound. Okay. Oh, and when we heard out says, Peter Cullen was doing. And when he comes line. out and it's like surround good. sound, you hear one shall stand, yeah, one yeah. shall fall. Right. You know, the thing is, because I wasn't as into it as you guys were, that when I saw the movie, I thought, that's fantastic. My only complaint was the fights, they move too fast. Too fast, yeah. That was my they big problem. They fixed that up a little bit. And I, I really don't like how, I can't really tell the difference, except yeah. for Optimus, Bumblebee, and probably about it. I can't tell the difference. It's, it's amazing to me yeah. that they made like the models too complex, which is kind of weird. Yeah. Like, you, wouldn't, yeah. you wouldn't think that would be a problem, but it kind of is. Yeah. And uh, and the storyline for one was fine. Two was no. <laughs> Two has so many. Uh, what's the Jetfire started having a cane? <laughs> I know. And he was all, I am Jetfire. Yeah. Hey, hey, Captain. <laughs> 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 and then and they were in the what was it the the Washington the uh, Air and Space Museum and they go out the back in the hangar and they're on this big field all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah that, what was, the hell? that was their field. That was the Air Force and serious, uh, graveyard in yeah. Arizona. Yeah, it's like how they yeah. got they and then from Washington and Arizona. Arizona like, and like, and like, then how did Megan Fox's pants stay white in the desert that whole time? <laughs> Time. So yeah, there was some Paul. issues she because they were off. Did <laughs> yeah, <laughs> did she pee herself or something? <laughs> but, um, the, the, you know, I got to draw the line at a transformer using a cane. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> like, like put a brace on your leg or something. And what about like, the uh, the two uh, stereotypical? Oh my God, the uh, uh, the Jar Jar Binks, racist, uh, <laughs> the, the transformer racist transformer that he did not put in the next one. Actually, they. They died in part three, but it was cut. So yeah. they were actually supposed to be killed in part was three. Was two, two had Devastator, right? <laughs> two with, had with, Devastator, with which the, was... With the, with the balls. Right, with the balls. <laughs> which was cool. I like how they made it so it was too heavy, but... The whole he Matrix things. Uh, now, three I liked. I thought three was pretty well done. I, I, I yeah. was impressed with that. It was it was good again. Now, Dempsey was Force coming out in very, a bit. Very, very yummy. Yeah. <laughs> I have to admit, I got to see what the Dinobots are like. I am yeah. looking forward it's to the Dinobots. It's going to be pretty crazy. When yeah. Yeah. And very much so. It's coming out in two weeks. And uh, the, guy, the, the guy who... We'll tell you later. We're recording right now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look it up. It's, it's like, years later. The uh, we people don't like the Transformers. Yes, They're yeah. trying to kill them all, and then saying? Mark Wahlberg finds no. one, and then something happens. Okay, so and Mark Wahlberg says it's pretty good, but we'll see. Okay, here's here's the big one for me: Transformers for adults. Uh-oh. Yeah. So RC. Uh, <laughs> so what ended up the happening was universe. people like Paul and I, as we got older, we the wanted to get back in Transformers, Transformers, and the is Hasbro still have. Yeah, Hasbro still got Transformers, right? Yeah. 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 So Hasbro realized there's a market for us. And around the time the first They realized came, that the kids growing up with it now have money to spend. The, what it was, <laughs> I think, was the uh, alternators is what did it. 
because the oh, alternators yeah. came out. Were nice. They were yeah. based on they were based I on Transformers, know. but they were based. <laughs> no, 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 the not, alternators not the proclaimers. No, the proclaimers. no, I'm sorry. <laughs> the alternators were Transformers that were based on actual cars and based on characters from Transformers. Right. So adults were buying them, and they were very well made, and they pay the money for them. And I yeah. love the Subaru WRX or S. You know, yeah, it was the WRX rally car, whatever that guy was called. That, that was an awesome, like, the robot was really good, articulated, the car was detailed. Yeah, they're very detailed. Yeah. They're and like, so, awesome. so Hasbro realized that, that, they they don't, that maybe they could make the cheaper figures, too, and so they didn't make them all expensive. Masterpiece, which I'll get to in a second. But they made classics and generation, and I got back into toys then, because all of a sudden, these are my favorite Transformers, but they're made with modern technology yeah. or modern manufacturing. So and they look like the cartoon. They, they look, look like, like how they're supposed to right. be. So the class, they call them classics, now they call them generations, and I'm still trying to get like new versions of all the ones I liked when I was, when I was young. Uh, but then there was Masterpiece, which is what this guy is. Mm -hmm. Very hard to find. Yes. Um, these guys, that, and now they're they're making them like crazy now because they found a market for them. They're, they're, but pricey. they're Japanese. They're more. pricey. Yeah. yeah, they are pricey. They're about 100 bucks, yeah, about, like, bucks each. Anywhere from 70 to 100 bucks. But there bucks are die cast pieces in there. Too. Yeah, the, yeah, they're high quality pieces. I mean, yeah. this you're is not for, for your kids. These are the ultimate become really big prime. in Japan. Yeah, well, that's where... That's remember, that's, were you at the beginning? No, no, no. <laughs> I, that's where they, they weren't really Transformers, like when Hasbro made them oh, here. Yeah. Well, no, no. Yeah. See, in, in Japan, they're still not Transformers. They're whatever they it's are. Oh, actually, oh, really? It, or do it, they? It has kind of well, spilled it, over or something. Oh, yeah. okay. The name yeah. moved because it was more marketable. Mm. But it was Takara that made it. That was the right, company. Right. Oh, Takara still, yeah. And Takara still makes... They, yeah. they continue. This is the original? No, this is not the original. This is a very well-made... Yeah, the original is all this, boxy and yeah, stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, the original doesn't look this good. No and way. Hardly the original worth more than that, though, right? Yeah. Oh. Well, no, I don't. Eh. If you had it in the box, maybe a few hundred. Yeah, it's all about the package. Yeah, if it were mint. If it were mint yeah. condition. But no, this, this, like this, you, you, I, this I got for Christmas That's, two years ago. Sounds or, counterproductive. Yeah, two years ago. And it was about a hundred bucks. I had to lick my toys. But the thing is, masterpieces like are so well made. My back. Right. I've only got four of them. <laughs> and by the way, they've all been our sponsors. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when we both make the same joke within about two seconds. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> but uh, so now, now things are starting to die off a bit generation wise because they've made a lot of the Transformers, and so, and now I'm seeing they like spilled over with the games. Uh, they, they had a, a, yeah, right. a they, toys from for the games. games. So, Did you guys ever uh, play the video game? Any of the video games of? Pastor? I played one of them um, once. He's played. I, I played. Uh, well, my nephew has it. I played with him. Cybertron. Uh, was War for Cybertron. That didn't sound I think right it was. At all. Yeah, I, I played that one. That was that <laughs> was, was pretty Cyber. good. And one of them I got. Um, thank you, um, whoever made it at uh, Comic Con. I pre-ordered it and got a free Grimlock T-shirt. Oh no, Optimus Prime T-shirt. Mm -hmm. And then I canceled my pre-order. So thank you. <laughs> Is that the shirt you're wearing? Now? No, no. <laughs> one, yeah. And I, need, I mean, now Transformers are. Well, we'll get to that in a second. But uh, so masterpiece alternators. But I, I'm hoping they keep going with the generations and keep them because they're still out there. But I, they're I don't know. They're kind of petered off a bit. Damn. Just like that. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Transformers at the conclusion. Let's talk about how it's become a cultural icon. Oh, okay. And as popular as ever. Yeah. I, I wanted to talk about Breast Force. Okay. Why don't you extend? Do Give you me a, extend? Just a, a quick extend. Extend. Um, I've learned recently breast. about extend regular breast well. force. Not extend and regular. breast force. No yeah. regular is, extend. Okay. You got the headmasters. You had the target masters. Right. The action masters. Well, they had um, the breast masters. Did they really? And the breast. It's a. It was in Japanese because J Japan continued on with the he whole headmasters right, yeah, yeah, cartoon yeah, yeah. and stuff, and 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 all that. But they had breast masters was. Uh, breast force. Is like this is just no. this trans is Transformers for adults. Transformers Z with the breast muscles. Yes. Oh yeah, movie spider. <laughs> These were Transformers that had um, animal plates on them on their breasts that would pop off and turn into an animal that would be their their warrior friend or wow. something. And they were called Breast Force. So they actually were called in Japanese. Were called Breast Force. Yeah, but they didn't have tits. No, them. no tits. Okay. Just, right. just a lot of animals. Well, and stuff. you know, yet again, the Transformers franchise disappoints. <laughs> yeah, he's like that breath. Oh, well, that's not the breath force. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, is that on camera? Well, yeah. No. No. No, but it's going to be in the show notes. <laughs> show well, notes. There are a lot of RCs naked in here. Oh, wow. Yeah. And look at that. Uh, they got yeah. an inner, inner, uh, force. <laughs> Double dildo, where RC hey, is doing something else. Gonna be I can just picture I can picture <laughs> that is Transformers for adults right yeah. there. I can, I can picture that Star Scream looking at that. Like. Right? What? Yeah. I can picture Star Scream watching that. 
This is hot. <laughs> you know Don't throw it out. No, we can't. We can't let it happen. This weekend? We no, this weekend or next weekend? Stop is screaming! In Pasadena. You failed me again. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll get to that for the next one. So, last time there were. There. Are you going? <laughs> There were buttery crumbs in the peanut butter. (laughs) And this time there were buttery crumbs in the jam. Maybe we get our wives to do something. Oh, we have a show. Well, the thing is, I... Okay, so let's talk about... (laughs) Well, like Paul said, BotCon is coming up this week, and there are conventions. I mean, Transformers has survived through all these different generations, so there's, there's just this huge mass of people that love it, and it's still going because... Michael Bay said he was done after three, but he's decided, hey, I'll do a fourth one. And so now we've got a new Transformer movie coming out with the Dinobots, which does look pretty cool. So we'll. I'm so happy see. about that. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. But I mean, how how does something like this stick on? Is it the is it the concept? The idea is just was just so original. The the ability to have a toy that transforms is it always going to be here just because it's such a cool concept? <laughs> what do you guys think? I think that it, it the reason for me that it is. So cool is the idea of a robot that transforms into some other kind of machine that is useful. And I think the idea of that at the, at the core of it is just so cool that a, a, a robot can transform into like a truck or a yeah. plane or, or a spaceship or you're get, whatever. You're getting two toys at once, which is really yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's cool too. Yeah. And then it's a puzzle. On top uh, of yeah, that. and it's a puzzle yeah. and it's something to work on. I mean, yeah. that's one of the reasons that I, I, like, I keep this guy next to my bed. Whoa. But because I like playing with him. Damn, that sounds bad, too. And this episode, Joey shares too much. <laughs> <laughs> As usual. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but I think that it, it's, it's going to keep going, especially since the movies are so recent. And probably what's going to happen is there's going to be a reboot in, like, ten years. Yeah. And so it'll be very interesting to see what happens. What I personally hope will happen is I'd love to see Transformers the movie from 86 redone as a cartoon with better graphic, like with cartoon. Yeah. Or even, even real, uh, not even cartoon, like live action. Yeah. That, would, that would be awesome. Mm-hmm. I mean, make cool. the real, make the cartoon into a real movie. That's what and I just said. Don't go into a real little boy. Rim job. <laughs> Thank you, Rim job. Welcome, Rim job. Well, yeah. do, I, do I come yeah. last or is it just on here somewhere? Uh, anybody else, Kale, you want to say anything Once else about Transformers? Wow. Oh, now that, um, that's Transformers big, is... That's a big that's expense a there. <laughs> Transformers <laughs> is popular because good. it's ingrained in our pop culture. Twig. It really and has. It is going to last much like Star Wars. Yeah. Um, yeah. You got Hello Kitty, you got oh, Transformers, My Little cake. Pony, that type of stuff. It, Hello we're Kitty really, and our generation, now, I'm that sure would all, be an interesting but very much on nostalgia. Strawberry and it, it just, it really is the heart of our childhood. And Four it's just, it's going to continue My going because each generation <laughs> is falling in love with it because Strawberry of shortcake. us. No, yeah. seriously. Okay, if, if there were the pony bots, they have to make some giant, like, you know, it's, I don't know, they transform into Al Capone. No, 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 just stop. Yeah, whatever. You um, come last. Okay, so um, <laughs> I liked the idea of Mecha growing up. You know, not just Transformers, because uh, obviously I liked Robotech. You, and the, like that. The, the worship place of Allah? No, not that Mecha. <laughs> Mechanical oh, robot okay. Mech- stuff. Uh. I was always drawing, <laughs> like, robots and stuff anyway, and... Um, I, I actually became more of a fan later on of instead of the idea of like sentient robots having piloted robots because uh, we played games like BattleTech together and mm-hmm. stuff like that and then you know Robotech was along those lines um, and there are other things like out there like Gundam and and Zoids and all these other things I like because um, yeah. a lot of it's about <laughs> design I just think the design of a lot of these yeah. things are cool much of it comes out of Japan and um, it's just a creative thing and one of the things I always heard about is that I kind of like the idea of piloted mechs because it represents like um, something I'm also fond of, which is like knights in armor. It's kind of like <laughs> yeah. the modern version of a suit of armor. It's right. just that it's like 50 feet tall. You know, Robotech. Be a good yeah. uh, topic. <laughs> what? Robotech. Be a good topic. Or Robotech. Mecha, maybe. Right. Right. Oh, For dude, house. I love Mecca. They did that Star Wars disco. Mecca. <laughs> awesome. We gotta throw that in. We gotta throw that in. Da! 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 Was that the Star Wars Family Guy where they say they've gone, they've gone disco oh, or whatever? I'm pretty sure, yeah. It was the that Star Wars one, right? Yeah, it was. And they go, they've gone disco, yeah. and it's like the the whole thing's a disco. Yeah. Da! Da! We're off timer, by the way, right? Yeah, we are. Okay, cool. 
All right. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Joey, for just a good yes. transformer. Hey, Sophie's uh, choice. Yeah, thank Daryl's you, Joey. choice. Thank you. I think this was the Paul and Joey Hi, show. Sophie. Yeah. All right. And uh, talking about Dinobots. Thanks yeah. for joining us for the Paul and Joey show. You're welcome. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Uh, it's Paul and Joey in the morning. Nobody watches Community Center. Um, okay, uh, so next week is Daryl's Choice. Daryl, nice. what are we doing? What? Who are we doing? What? <laughs> what? That's actually the show. Because last time oh, it was no. Word to the Wise. Uh, oh, this one what? Is, is what? <laughs> what you talking about, fool? Uh, he's doing a series. Oh, yeah. Monty Python doing. style. Now, this is kind of the spiritual successor to Word of the Wise. He's doing a series. Word I like it. to the Wise. My mistake. Um, so, this one is about, we're going to ask what questions. Like, what is government? Okay, that's what cool. What is society? What the what? What is what, what, home? What you know, the what Whatever you can think about. <laughs> what? What? Uh, what the? <laughs> what the fuck? What? Well, I guess that'd be the fruit. The the I kind of like what right. because it's what? it's um what it's very Python esque. What? So. What? What? No, I start Vader. What? Didn't Facebook buy what? What? <laughs> no, it's Darth Vader. What? What? Okay, this is getting old, guys. Uh, and then, uh, uh, moving uh, along. Uh, 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 oh, what? yeah. What? <laughs> what? What? Well, that's the episode. What? Oh, sorry, I'm the host. <laughs> what? What? Uh, what? You can always reach us at show at IamRambling.com. I'm Joe Schell. I'm Paul Hunter. Gail Anderson. And Daryl George. And we are more than meets the eye. Oh, wait, sorry. What? <laughs> and dude? Go. <laughs> Not rim job. Rim job. <laughs> Transformers in disguise. Well, we, he's wanted us all to have call signs. <laughs> so so there you go. <laughs> Remember, everybody, we're incoherent, so, so you, you don't, don't have, have to. to. Oh, oh, with this oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what the what? Thanks for listening. You can now stop screaming at the open air. Listeners should put their minds back in their upright positions and resume traditional thinking. Find us on imrambling.com for access to all of our weekly ramblings, show notes, general discussions, and any projects from Incoherent Ramblings. Like us on Facebook and rate us on iTunes. So long, and thanks for all the fish. Okay, 10 seconds. 10 now. seconds in heaven. <laughs> 10 seconds. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I know, I, but then there was noise. So we have to wait another 10, ten seconds. Okay. Yeah. You didn't right. say anything about that. <laughs> Stop scratching your balls. Oh, <laughs> oh we're recording too. I forgot. Yeah. <sighs> No like old scratching. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that would work. Oh, oh and welcome to another episode. Uh, okay, ready? Right. Yeah, for real. Oompa, oompa, oompa. How the is that track. for real? Oh, 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 o